Yo, what's going on, everybody? What up, what up, what up? Young Brawlin here in Clash Royale with you guys on my alt account. I want to show you guys some replays again. We're using this deck, guys. I versus a really good player. I'll show you the profile right here, guys. I hate this deck, too, by the way, with the Valkyrie, Magic Archer, Miner, and the uh, Wall Breakers. I don't know about you guys, but this deck with the Bomb Tower, too. Like, I don't like that deck. And uh, this is who I fought, guys. This player finished, you know, 79 in the world at once last season, 1067. It was a really good game. And I was I was surprised that I got it. With the Golem deck, I would have absolutely lost this game, guys, for sure. But with this Pekka Bridge Spam deck, it's a different game style, guys. You can you can finesse this deck. Let's check it out. I just want to make sure I turn off the sound here. You see the sound was on, guys. Good thing I checked. There we go. By the way, I went on a 10-game winning streak using this deck too, guys, which brought me to my season highs, 59.96. I started here, one, two, with the Lava Hound in uh, Log Bay with the Tower, uh, Balloon Mega Knight. Pekka, he was, you know, a little off meta. Another off meta, this one with the Graveyard. This deck, I don't like this deck. You, you are, you know, you guys know that. This Golem deck, very similar to what I use on my main. Instead of the Bar Barrel, I think I see a Snowball. Uh, that's the only thing that I, that was a pretty easy matchup, guys. Uh, here we go, this one with the Giant Miner. We'll check, we'll check those three out, guys. But let's start with this. So wall breakers come in at the bridge. I have a zap ready. I zap and that does not get to the tower. I'm cool with that. I thought it was gonna get to the tower, at least one of them, but it's good to know that if you zap it, it won't get to your tower. So the opponent starts off with the Valkyrie in the back and I'm already thinking, is this that deck that I don't like? So I switch lanes, guys. You see, I drop there and I go with the, with the Magic Archer right on the Valkyrie getting that tower damage. And I use poison because I want that Magic Archer gone as well. And you'll see your magic archer will clean that up and go towards that tower to pick up one hit here i was a little bit late on the e-wiz i wasn't sure if the opponent was going to drop something here right behind um the wall breaker so i was waiting for that but uh you see this play still got to the tower got a little bit of damage but the valkyrie does not let our bandit get through here i use a battle ram to kite and now we just want to go in the opposite lane, see if we can do a pressure at that. And return guys brings out the bomb tower from the opponent. I'm okay with that too because that building is very annoying guys. Especially with the NATO spell, it, you can like pull everything in and you know it's like a giant skeleton basically. But uh, on a different level. Here we go, minor play coming with the wall breakers. I go magic archer, dark prince. I thought dark prince would stop it. No, but I zap the wall breakers to make sure that doesn't hit the tower. That would have brought the tower to like 600 around that. So I go with the bandit magic archer play in the left. The opponent has a Valkyrie. But what worked out here, guys, the magic archer is gone. You see, I'm happy with that too because that magic archer could have caused a lot of damage on our right tower. Here, I don't do anything to the Valkyrie. It doesn't get to the tower. We're in double elixir now. You see the minor wall breaker play coming again. So I have to do e -whiz for the wall breakers. And I support that side, guys, with the Dark Prince. Magic Archer for this side. We're, in, we're doing dual lane pressure. You see, in double elixir, you can do that. Here we go. Valkyrie coming out from the opponent. Bandit charges to it. And we gotta still deal with that magic archer. That NATO actually lets the magic archer live, and that's the play you do not want to be letting it happen. You see that tower it was too easy for that. Here we go. Uh, Matt, uh, he was coming out for the magic archer. We got 836 on this tower, guys. Uh, just a, just a spoiler, guys. This game went into overtime, and it was still a battle. You see Valkyrie coming out. The the, the poison coming. The opponent goes with the miner. You see, I use a bandit early because uh, I want match Archer gone, but everything there, like wall breakers, skeleton, just let it live. Minor chips up that tower, and we're in double overtime. It was actually right at the zero mark. You see, I'm, 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 in, <laughs> I'm even in shock. Like, what? what? Minor really did that? There we go. Another miner coming. Got a magic archer right there and zap to make sure that doesn't hit the tower. I'm doing anything that I can to stop the wall breakers 
It's literally two licks of play, but it gets so much damage done to your tower, you don't want it to happen. The Valkyrie there just did a did what? Valkyrie put in work there, guys. There we go. I got Bandit. Ewis play. I go with the Bandit. Bandit charges to one of them, but the one wall break. I thought I thought one got through, but I guess Bandit and the King Tower finished it off, guys. I'm leaking a little bit of elixir. There we go, Magic Archer. I go with the Pekka. Pekka cleans up that Magic Archer, guys. And the Valkyrie. I go with the Dark Prince, Dark Prince play in the right. Bomb Tower coming out. NATO actually helps us out because Pekka will clean up that tower. And I use a Bandit Battle Ram play here, guys, to get that through. And that Barbarian and Poison just got the job done. That was a crazy game. I don't know how I picked it up, but it shows me that this deck is capable of beating this deck. There we go, guys. Let's check out this Golem Night Witch. This was a little too easy, guys. This one, oh, you got to see this. There we go. Lumberjack coming out. I have the Bandit. You know, when the Lumberjack was there, guys, I had already figured out that it could be a Golem deck. So I was, my play style had changed. I knew I have to hold my P.E.K.K.A. until I see that Golem. You know, there we go. A Baby Dragon coming. I use an E-Whistle to uh, stop that. Here the Golem comes. Guys, I go push with the Dark Prince. It's actually uh, holding on. It's uh, blocking for the Battle Ram. Battle Ram gets to the tower and the Barbarians easily get that tower. Now you see Golem here. Uh, E-Wiz is stopping that. And I'm already ready with the P.E.K.K.A. And this was not gonna get through to our tower. See if I can make it a little bit faster. I think that was game. You see, the opponent actually quit right there, guys. That was a bit too easy, especially when you realize you're going against a Pekka as a golem player. It's not fun. <laughs> there we go. That was too easy, guys. This deck is toxic for golem decks. jump into a live match and see if we can get to that 6,000 mark yeah that would be a new season high so let's see if we can get that done right, starting four we got the P.E.K.K.A. he was zap and poison hold back and see what we're gonna be fighting who I did not even mean to bring this deck guys I absolutely meant to bring the dark prince version the one that we got 10 wins with this is I don't know how this is gonna work out we'll see I'm gonna go with this we're gonna try to switch lanes using the mini P.E.K.K.A guys i'm having some errors right now recording but i'm gonna try it again uh where i left off guys so i did uh, i was making a video guys and i got a call during this one and i lost that game too but um the thing was guys i had the dark prince version right here if you see i have the dark prince variant instead of the royal ghost so i went on a 10 game winning streak the only card that's not in this deck is the ghost guys and i swapped that out with the dark prince and uh, I did lose that match right here with the Ghost. But when I brought in Dark Prince after that, I was able to pick that up. And that brought me into 59.95, guys. Let's check out how this one worked out. We're going to run it in four times just to go a little bit faster. There we go. I go with that. We'll go a little bit slower, guys. Nice poison there, guys. There you go. I go with the Pekka, right? The opponent spent a lot of elixir. Check this out, guys. It, it, the opponent only has the option to go this and go with the skeletons. I wait for the skeletons. And you know, perfect timing with that zap, guys. Once the tower was out of the way, uh, what's going to stop the battle ram from hitting that tower? Uh, basically nothing. And that tower was easily picked up, guys. I will connect this uh, video with another one, guys, that I showed you uh, a golem one. And I won against a really good top ladder player. Uh, so, yeah. This deck is working out for me. I only swapped out the Ghost for the Dark Prince. So try it out guys if you're looking for a P.E.K.K.A deck to push on ladder with. 
so this was like a minor cycle poison with the for the opponent with the tower and valkyrie on defense um there we go minor that poison r.i.p <laughs> that poison r.i.p here we go guys you know i try to rush in because that wasted four elixir right there you know that was definitely value for us here we go i get the bandit through battle ram connects on that tower he was picking up a value the game got pretty close guys it went into over well it didn't get pretty close i knew we had the control but it did go into that over time but let's see guys if i can jump into a live match and get to the 6000 mark i haven't done that yet this season you see the season highest is 59.96 so let's see what we can make happen here let me just make sure the game sound was turned off. I don't know if it was there, but so starting four guys, we got a zap bandit, right? I'm gonna go with the bandit right here. The opponent goes with that. We're gonna have E Wiz. Just making sure that we can stop this play guys a fireball coming out it misses the e wiz let's see if we can get value here with dark prince since that's gonna give us it might even just give us that tower whoa how easy was that guys you miss a fireball you miss the e wiz and this deck makes you not want to play again is this game over is this gonna be our 6k you guys you guys saw that golem matchup that i shared earlier in this too it was too easy to pick that one up you know the opponent actually gave up after we got that tower it looks like it's the same thing guys this deck legit makes people quit if you lose that tower if you pick up a tower early i see it happen more often than not uh, well you saw this is the second time in one video guys like literally that that's insane so we're in that 6k mark now guys 6026 new season highest on the alt account here guys check out this deck this deck works it is a strong deck guys for ladder you can always have the dark prince if you don't have the ghost one less legendary to work on and in my opinion i do like the dark prince version better guys as you can tell i'm 12 and 0 using this deck guys two right there and 10 right here 12 and 0 on ladder using this dark prince pekka bridge spam version guys all right guys i'm gonna end this right here i hope you guys enjoyed that thank you for watching guys i'll go back on my main in a little bit i'll try to do a uh, push on that let's see if we can get to 6200 there but for now guys i'm gonna end it here thank you for watching don't forget to hit that like comment and subscribe so you can stay tuned to the future content i'll be uploading guys and thank you for tuning in Rolling out. Peace. Take care, guys.